cuts. I mean, obviously, I wasn't shocked necessarily on all of the players that they cut. I mean, I figured it's the standard on who they cut, and I figured they would keep most of the players, like the key players and whatnot. Um, I guess being kind of like nitpicking what what their decisions were, there's two players that I kind of was a little disappointed by. I mean, I don't think it's the end of the world for the Steelers by them cutting these two players, but I, I was kind of disappointed about Quez, Quez getting getting cut. I, I think that um, with a wide receiver room being not that competitive, considering we only have George Pickens as our wide receiver one and wide receiver two and three are pretty much a toss up. It could literally be anyone. I think having him on there would have probably been very helpful. I mean, obviously you have Van Jefferson and Roman Wilson, but I think he could have been a pretty good, you know, wide receiver four or five, but I understand the situation. I mean, they, they, they brought in a bunch of random wide receivers and are kind of hoping that one of them sticks. So I think five made the initial roster. Um, I don't know all of them off the top of my head. I don't remember the other two. I'm sorry. I just, I just can't uh, <laughs> just, I, I know I'm a bad, I know I'm a bad person. I know I'm a bad Steelers well, fan, but yeah, man, I know, I know. Fan. I just I'm I'm a little disappointed by that, but I mean I understand the situation. Another one I was a little disappointed by was P Ryan. Um, I know that he um, was a running back, and I understand that we already have Warren, Najee, and Cordell Patterson. But he was fun to watch, and I thought that he showed a lot of promise. And I think had Cordell not been signed, I feel like he probably would have had a spot on the roster. But that's just me. Um, so I was a little disappointed by that. Plus he was younger. So, but I mean, he's younger than Cordell Patterson. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's younger than at least two of the running backs. So mm. it, it, it would have definitely been not, it, it wasn't, it wasn't your P Ryan. It was, no, it was you're talking about LaMichael, right? Yeah. LaMichael P Ryan. Yeah. He's 2021, 20, I think. Yeah. yeah so, so he would have been younger at least than Cordell Patterson for, for one. So it, it just, it, 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 for one, it just, it, it just yeah. would have been, I mean, Cordell Patterson looked all right in preseason. I'm pretty, he did, he did tally a touchdown, maybe even more. I didn't really follow along too much this preseason as I have in the past, but, um, but I mean, like if they're able to utilize him and Najee and Warren, then so be it. But yeah, a little disappointed by those two, but I, I feel like that's just being nitpicky. I, I don't really think I'm like over the top angry. I mean, I feel like, in Houston, I feel like the situation was tough over there because, I mean, their wide receiver core, I wish I had their wide receiver core. They had to cut freaking Noah Brown just because yeah. they didn't have the room for him. I mean, I wish I had that many wide receivers that were that dang good. But, I mean, that's why I was kind of being nitpicky with Quez. I mean, we can work with Roman Wilson, Van Jefferson, and George Pickens as your starters, but yeah, maybe maybe the Steelers will pick up Noah Brown. That would be very helpful. I think I think that could help, but that, that's just, like I said. But I, I'm fine with the I'm fine with the moves that they made, you know. So Texans also had to cut Ben Skoranek, who they traded for. With yeah, the Rams. which is crazy. So, yeah. so the, I mean, not that Ben is like some superstar or anything, but he is a Super Bowl champion. Mm-hmm. L.A. Mm-hmm. Rams. So they 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 just Houston's Houston Houston's a team this year. I, I don't I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to be playing them this year. Yeah. So currently, just so people know, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Wide receiver starters are Van Jefferson, Calvin Austin the third, and George Pickens. Oh, uh, Calvin Austin. That was the other guy. Yeah, I forgot about him. Roman Wilson and Scotty Miller as the backups. Yeah, I feel like Quez could have made it. I, I don't really I mean, not that I don't I don't mind Scotty. Calvin Austin the third really hasn't shown me too much. I I, I just feel like the wide receiver is, is, the core is like open over in Pittsburgh. You know, I feel like I feel like you should have given him a little bit of a chance. But like I said, I guess I'm just being nitpicky. I mean, once Roman Wilson comes back from injury, maybe he'll he'll shine a lot more. I mean, he's been dealing with that ankle injury, so. But yeah, may, hey, maybe maybe one of maybe maybe I, I'll be surprised. Maybe this whole situation will be crazy, and maybe. Uh, our best wide receiver won't even be Pickens. Maybe it'll be Van Jefferson. Maybe Van Jefferson will have 12 touchdowns this year and Russell Wilson will have 30 or something. I don't know. And 12 of them are to Van Jefferson. Well, so we've talked about, I guess, kind of the, I'm going to say lackluster. I'm, I, I get these guys are talented, but I don't, I'm not impressed by the Steelers wide receiver. Maybe it's because the Bengals wide receiver room is just so deep. But the, the Steelers wide receiver, I mean, come on. Van Jefferson, he he's 
that's nine. why I that's why I and, said it's it's a competitive right, like it, right. it's easily a competitive wide receiver room. It's not anything. That's why every all Steelers fans have been saying get Brandon Ayuk, bring in literally anybody because Van Jefferson's always been a certified wide receiver three, if not four. And it's nothing against him. It's just how he's been on the chart. So you put him in there with you know it's him and Calvin Austin the third. Like that is a crazy wide receiver room with George Pickens. Like that is insane. Like you could have gotten literally, you know, Tyler Boyd, I guess, or anybody, literally anybody, put anybody in there. Tyler Boyd is the Tennessee Titans emergency quarterback, by the way. That was just, that was announced today. Oh, that's but, that's actually phenomenal. I mean, hey, he, he's, he's <laughs> so got an arm. Mason Rudolph, better watch out. Tyler Boyd's coming. Yeah, Tyler Boyd's gonna take his job. Just like um uh, you know. I was going to say Terrell Pryor, but I, I don't think really Terrell Pryor could have done anything. But shout out to Terrell Pryor, who was once a quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks turned wide receiver in Cleveland. <laughs> so we we know who's going to be throwing to this lackluster Steelers wide oh, receiver yes. room. And that is Russell Wilson. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Him and I mean, this isn't really a shock. I think everyone knew that, but. Justin Fields is on the team. There were some people who was maybe like, who were like, eh, maybe he could start, but he looked rough in the preseason. He had some pre-snap issues, and I, I don't know that that was all on him. I think part of it was working with a new and even rookie young uh, offensive line. But I saw yeah. something that said it's easier to bench – Russell for Justin Fields midseason than it is to bench Justin Fields for Russell Wilson midseason. Do you yeah. think there's any truth to that? No, I, I think it's it's probably well. There's a couple things. There's a couple factors with this. Number one, when the, when they signed Russell Wilson, the whole Kenny Pickett scandal that began in the earlier part of the year was the idea that Russell Wilson was going to be quarterback one and Kenny Pickett was going to be QB two, regardless of what Kenny thought. And Kenny, that is why Kenny got traded. He threw his little fit, and then now he's in Philadelphia. Barely somehow making it, but he is on the roster and he is their QB too, I'm assuming, because, you know, they actually invested something in him. But um, but putting the Kenny Pickett thing aside, Russell Wilson was always slated to be quarterback one, regardless of who was going to be, be behind him, whether it was going to be Mason Rudolph, whether it was going to be Justin Fields, whether it was going to be some random quarterback that we were going to draft, let's say Bo Nix. Yeah, because because I love Bo Nix. I don't know. I'm just saying, just random quarterback. Anybody. You could literally throw anybody out there. It's somebody random behind him. Taylor Heineke. I don't care. You, you throw somebody behind him. It was always going to be Russell Wilson. And just so happened to be Justin Fields, former starter in Chicago, just happened to get the uh, short end of the stick. And I think another thing that people are realizing is Omar Khan, Mike Tomlin, with this trade that they did, the, the draft pick is lower if – Justin Fields doesn't start a certain amount of snaps. So if they can start Justin Fields later in the season and he only snaps the ball for like 40% of snaps, I believe it's still a six round pick. But if he snaps like 50%, it'll jump up to a fourth or something like that. But either way, like there's a little bit more stock value in not starting him anyway, because uh, number one, you already have Russell Wilson, who's only signed for a one year deal. He's, he's a veteran who be working with a bunch of young guys, hopefully help develop Justin Fields. And maybe, you know, depending on if Russell Wilson gets hurt, maybe if Russell Wilson looks bad, you can pull in Justin Fields, who could supposedly be your future. Or you dump both of them, which is terrifying to consider because this is this is a weird year for Pittsburgh. I, I don't think people are, like, considering this. But this this is a really interesting year because Russell Wilson's on a year deal. Justin Fields, I mean, would you, would you bring him on for a fifth-year option? Like, what, what are you going to do here? Because – do you, if they both do bad, do you left go of both of them and you have no quarterbacks? Like, what, what do you do? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just going to be an interesting year because obviously how long would you be willing to invest in Russell Wilson? He's already, you know, I would argue he's probably already past his prime. I mean, I, I feel like most people could say that he's, he's older. I mean, you can't put your franchise into him because he's only going to be playing for five seasons. Max is my prediction. And then Justin Fields, show some sign of light in Chicago, but can he do it in Pittsburgh's offense? Could he still do it here? Is he a bust? Is he a Mitchell Trubitsky 2.0? Like what, what, what are we expecting here? I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't know, but there's a lot of things that, that are yet to be seen. I mean, I, I'm a lot bigger on Justin Fields than I am uh, Mitchell Trubitsky or 
even Russell Wilson at times. So, I mean, it's it's going to be interesting to see. But I'm not shocked by the news. I already kind of figured this was going to happen. Um, it was just a wait and see waiting for uh, the official announcement that Russell Wilson was going to be QB1 for the Falcons game. Does uh, Do you think Russell Wilson gets TJ Watt his first playoff win as a Pittsburgh Steeler? It really depends on where we're at in the standings at that point. I mean, I think, in number one, first of all, it depends on if T.J. Watt is hurt because T.J. Watt tends to get hurt a lot just because he puts his body and life out in, into the game every single week. And I applaud him for that, and I appreciate that, but sometimes I kind of feel bad because he ends up putting the team on his back and ends up hurting his back. So, I mean, I just it's a tough situation for him. But I think I think he could. But the problem that we face is the wide receiver core is still not there. So, I mean, you know, I mean, you would really have to hope for like a Calvin Austin III or a Roman Wilson. Well, specifically like a Roman Wilson to like turn into some sort of like Zay Flowers or Jordan Addison and be like this insane player that changes, that flips the entire Steelers roster upside down where you're like, oh my goodness, this guy's actually good. Or when Juju came in and started playing really well and you're like, oh my gosh, where did this guy come from? Or even Antonio Brown, he's a six round pick. And all of a sudden he's popping off, getting these return touchdowns. You're like, oh, this guy's going to be good. And then all of a sudden he becomes the legendary Antonio Brown before he fell off. But I mean, (laughs) I will just leave it at that. But um but yeah, I mean, I think he could, but it would really, it's very situational and also really depends on who we play and where we're at in the wild card race. Because if we, obviously I don't think the Steelers are going to win the division. I never really thought the Steelers were going to win the division. 